Hi guys, I've just joined the live a few minutes early to give people time to join. Um, my name is Hayley Sparks, so lovely to have you here on this live. I am the very proud ambassador for Instant Effects. Um, I absolutely swear by their products. I really, really do love everything that they are about. And uh, But today it's not about their amazing products. I'm going to talk to you all about Beauty Kitchen. So the idea of this chat, oh hello, hello, hi, thanks for joining me. The idea of this chat is just to talk to you about some of the things that you could potentially incorporate into your diet that will actually help you with your skin, hair and nails from the inside out. So it's really important, obviously, what we put onto our face topically and, you know, I, I swear by instant effects, but it's equally just as important, if not even more important. It's fundamental that we're actually eating the right uh, foods that can really nourish us and help us when it comes to anti-aging, great skin, hair and nails, glowing skin from the inside out. And also, I don't know if you're familiar, but there are so many different products that we have already just sat in our kitchen cupboards, which we could actually be using in our beauty regimes, um, which are natural, they're chemical free, obviously, because they're natural products, they're absolutely full of the active ingredients that get to work on your skin, your hair, your nails, and uh, they don't have any of those awful kind of artificial um, ingredients, parabens, chemicals, uh, all that kind of stuff really. So uh, yeah, so thank you so much for joining me. And if you're not watching live and uh, you're tuning in uh, after the live, then I really hope that you find this use useful. Uh, useful even, sorry. <laughs> hope you find this uh, useful. So let's kick off then. I'm just gonna run through the list. And I was quite excited to be completely honest with you. I didn't actually do a shop. I actually realised that when I was sort of going through the list of what I wanted to talk to you about, I already had them in my, uh, the majority of everything uh, in my kitchen at home because it's something I'm quite passionate about and I've, I've spent a lot of time researching this as well. So starting off, um, oily fish is absolutely amazing for, for, your, um, for your skin. Um, it's absolutely packed full of those essential fatty acids. So salmon, mackerel, anything like that, really good if you can include in your diet. However, you might be like me and I'm, um, you know, mainly vegetarian. So if you're not a fish eater, that's obviously just, just only one option for you. But if you do eat fish, then those omega 3s those fatty acids are amazing for your skin. Um, so next up, a great staple is avocado. Um, now this is so nourishing. Again, it's got these really powerful like fatty acids that really help your skin so it's all about keeping your skin moisturized keeping your skin nice and flexible it's helping with vitamin c vitamin e collagen production avocados are just so amazing and i think a lot of people who are calorie counting or losing weight can sometimes be a little bit scared to eat avocados because although they're they're higher in fat it's healthy fat and that's what's so, so good for us. So avocado is like just so versatile. I love it mashed on toast or include it in with salads, with rice dishes, really easy to use. And you can just mash it up and put it straight onto the face for a, um, a really, really nice face mask as well, which is gonna be nourishing. Now, another thing that's great to eat is walnuts. Walnuts, they are really good for your brain as well. When you actually look at a walnut, I think it's great because it actually looks like the brain, which is amazing. So they are full of zinc. They're really good for wound healing. Um, they're great for inflammation. So what I do, because I like to make everything so simple and easy. So I buy a really lovely um, gut health granola. Um, it's got no artificial um, sugars and ingredients. It's all natural from Waitrose and then what I do is I mix it in with chia seeds, pumpkin seeds, other things we'll talk about. I actually put the walnuts in here so and I've also got almonds as well which are really great for your hair and your nails. So every day I have coconut yogurt or I make um, smoothie bowls again with avocado, banana, that kind of thing. I get put flax seeds in here 
And I just take like a couple of big spoonfuls and just add them into my breakfast. And then that way I find it's just such a great way to start the day. And you know that you've got all that nutrients in one go. So I've also got um, some um, sunflower seeds in here as well. And they're so easy. Sunflower seeds are great because you can actually include them in savoury dishes or you can put them into your yoghurt, your muesli, your porridge as well. Um, and they're full of antioxidants. So antioxidants basically help us fight back against free radicals. So free radicals is the pollution, everything that's going on, um, uh, sun damage, everything that's going on. Our skin is being basically attacked every day by these free radicals. So the more antioxidants we've got, the more that we fight back basically against the elements that are causing uh, aging on our skin. So sunflower seeds I sprinkle in there as well. Um, as I mentioned before, almonds are really good for your hair and your nails. These are flaked almonds and I just pop them in with my granola and have them at the start of the day. You've just got all those nutrients, you don't even have to think about it. Also in there, pumpkin seeds. Now if you're somebody that is suffering with any kind of form of acne or any problems with your skin, Pumpkin seeds are great, they're full of zinc and it really can help with the inflammation and calming down the acne and helping overall with that zinc to help rebalance your skin. So any problem skin out there, just get yourself some pumpkin seeds. And again, it's really easy just to sprinkle them in, in with your breakfast, your yogurts. You can eat them on their own, they're quite tasty actually, but I find sprinkled in with the walnuts, the almonds, pop chia seeds in there as well, the sesame seeds, I've got goji berries, and just have a couple of scoops and you get so like a real powerhouse of nutrients all in one go at the start of the day. So it's really, really easy. Um, so come out next, another superfood, which I thought I'd got out of my fridge, but actually perhaps I left it in my fridge. You don't need to see, you know what they are. So sweet potatoes, they are full of beta, car uh, beta carotene. So this is really natural um, at helping a, as a bit of a natural sun block. So sweet potatoes, um, they're actually, I've done my research on them, they're actually classed as one of the, I think it's like in the top 10 of the most nutrient foods, like the most powerful uh, foods, natural foods that you can eat, sweet potatoes. And everybody's heard of the saying, eat the rainbow. And I just love that bright orange color. To me, it's nature's way of saying, trying to entice us to eat all these beautiful foods is making them really colourful so that we're attracted to them and we eat them. Um, so I incorporate sweet potatoes into my diet. I had some for my dinner tonight. I like to roast them in coconut oil and then I refreeze them and then that way I can easily add them into dishes like I did today and then I just put them in a frying pan again with a little coconut oil and warm them up heat them up and then they're ready because the only thing with sweet potato is it takes quite a long time um, it can take a little bit of a long time to cook sometimes so I find having them pre-cooked and then frozen is a really quick way of like adding them into meals with when you maybe don't have as much time to bake them and cook roast them from scratch but they make really lovely jack of potatoes. If you do have a little bit more time to cook them in the oven, I think they're really, really lovely um, as a jack of potato. So for a lunch or a dinner, really, really nice. So broccoli, absolutely amazing. So we've got vitamin A, vitamin C, we've got zinc, but we've got, now I'm really bad at pronunciation, but it's something along the lines of the pronunciation is sulfurophane. Forgive me if I've said that wrong, but if you Google it, you'll easily see what I'm talking about. This has been shown in studies to be incredibly powerful and it's found in broccoli and it's really powerful um, helping against uh, uh, the free radicals, um, helping with the antioxidants. Uh, there are studies that show that it can help with um, prevent certain cancers. Again, you'd have to look at those those studies, I'm not making any claims, but if you if you look into sulfurophane, you will see the scientific studies and the potential benefits that they can have, which is really, really quite powerful. So, and in broccoli, which I just, I've been a fan of broccoli my whole life, into your meals, it's really easy, but even more, an even more powerful way of doing it is to sprout your own broccoli seeds. Now, I watched a Joe Rogan 
podcast on this um, and uh, they had an expert and she was talking about this um, sulforaphane which is found in um, in broccoli but also more potent in these broccoli sprouts so you buy the seeds I get organic uh, broccoli um, broccoli seeds um, and then I bought this special little jar you know you can get them from Amazon you sprinkle a few in and then you just put water in and tip it out every day and it drain the water drains out like this and it grows like cress that you can see here but this is absolutely jammed packed with this powerful ingredient with all these in incredible scientific studies to back up just how amazing it is so it tastes very much like cress if you ever grew cress when you were at school or i remember growing it on the windowsill and um, it tastes like cress so to be honest with you i just add it into my dinners i add it into my lunches you don't, it, you know, it doesn't taste amazing. It's just a cressy taste. But if you just mix it in with your food, you don't even realise that you're having it. And apparently, if you freeze it first, it is even more powerful. So I absolutely swear by that. There's been, as I said, a lot of the studies showing that it's really powerful when it comes to um, anti-aging, helping you look younger for longer. So I just thought, well, do you know what? <laughs> that sounds quite easy and it is easy I grow them I eat them and then I start the process again it probably takes around five days for the broccoli seeds to kind of grow into like a cress formula where you can eat them so it's um yeah really really easy to do and it's just kind of become part of the lifestyle now um so another great one is to include berries I've just got blueberries here that I happen to have in my my fridge but again they're a powerhouse. They are packed full of antioxidants. Why do we need antioxidants? They fight against the free radical damage that's coming towards our skin, pollution, sun, everything that is entailed in modern life, attacking the skin, speeding up the aging process. But antioxidants fight back against the free radicals. And these um, blueberries, for example, or any berries, um, are just packed full of goodness, um, with goodness. So again, really easy. I know a lot of people just like to snack on them because they're quite yummy in their own right. I personally like to mix them into porridge. I mix them in with coconut yogurt. Um, and I'm, I mix them in with smoothie bowls or eat them on their own. But yeah, I prefer them mixed in, but they're absolutely, um, they're absolutely yummy. Uh, so if you can include berries in your diet, um, a real, real great one. Now, another little tip I've got is strawberries. Obviously, loads of goodness in strawberries, but did you know that you can also whiten, you help whiten your teeth naturally with strawberries? If you cut them in half and you rub them across your teeth, they naturally help to whiten your teeth. How amazing is that? Um, so yeah, a great little beauty tip and a lot cheaper than buying um, teeth whitening, but I think that it helps to get rid of the stains on your teeth. So using strawberries is just amazing and obviously eating them as well, you're getting all those benefits and goodness. Tomatoes, another great one. Um, there's been studies to show that if you eat a lot of tomatoes, especially in the summer, it can really help protect your skin against sun damage, which is amazing. So great to have tomatoes in your diet. Red and yellow peppers, again, a lot of research to show that they are really beneficial um, superfoods with benefits for your, um, for your skin. Now, I think you're really going to love this one um, because we don't often get told um, that we can eat chocolate, do we? But dark chocolate, again, like our berries, are, um, is packed, absolutely packed with antioxidants, like really powerful, helping fight against that free radical damage that we were talking about earlier. So let me just talk through this study because I found it really, really interesting. So in a six-week study, participants found after taking um, eating dark chocolate, obviously not crazy amounts, but a small amount daily. And it was really important that it's the 70% dark chocolate. So minimum sugar and more of the natural um, cocoa in there. Um, but after six weeks, participants found their skin was more hydrated, thicker, less rough and scaly, and also was less sensitive in the sun and they were less prone to sunburn. Also, they had better uh, blood flow, which was obviously great for the circulation. The more blood flow that we have to the skin, the more our skin has the ability to heal itself. Um, more oxygen is great, obviously, for the radiance and in your skin, um, helping to drain away dark circles. So 
a small amount of dark chocolate with the quality variety that 70% is key and minimum sugar is actually really good for us. So that's a really nice one. Um, so some other tips. Eggs are just amazing. Where did I put my eggs? Yeah. Eggs are so amazing and really easy. And most of us do eat eggs anyway. But if you want a really affordable um, face mask, then you can just separate an egg. So you don't want to put the yellow in, you just want the egg white. Mix it with a little bit of coconut oil and you can apply it to your skin like a mask. And the proteins in there have like a tightening effect on your skin. So egg whites make a really amazing and quite powerful face mask. So it's a really good tip. If you've got any maybe that have gone past, um, slightly past their sell-by date, for example, and you don't want to throw them in the bin, you could use them as a face mask. Obviously, I would always say with face masks, leave it on for like 10, 15 minutes and then rinse it off and just obviously make sure you cleanse it off properly and you will feel that instant tightening effect um, in your skin it's actually really powerful and you can also use egg whites as well as a hair mask the protein in the eggs are really powerful so again they're helping to nourish hydrate um, helping with the natural protein and restoring the protein that's naturally in your hair so again i would probably wrap your um put it on damp hair so shampoo rinse the shampoo out put it put the egg white and you, again you can mix it with coconut oil as well to make a really nice hair mask it's like mix the egg white the coconut oil together wrap your hair in a warm towel leave it for like 10-15 minutes or if you're having a pamper night and you're in the bath um, and it might seem a little bit random but again any, any of these ideas um, you can do your own research there's so much available online and um, to show just how wonderful uh, these natural products can be. And uh, as I said before, because they're natural products, they're giving you all of the active ingredients, which is just amazing. So a really affordable alternative to some of the more expensive hair masks, but all of those active ingredients, the proteins in the egg, uh, really gonna help your hair as well. So just also wanted to talk about um, coconut oil now i <laughs> i i should have shares in a coconut oil factory seriously the amount of coconut oil that i get through is quite incredible and you can i mean it, you can get coconut oil everywhere i personally like to get um the organic version if you can and uh, the cheapest place that i found to buy it is actually from Aldi, which is, I think they're about £1.79. But coconut oil is your best friend. Honestly, your beauty best friend. I cook with it because, again, do your own research, but compared to a lot of other oils, when other oils are heated, their molecular structure changes and that can have a potentially have a bit of a negative impact when that happens on our bodies. Whereas when you cook with coconut oil, the molecular structure doesn't change, so it's really nice and healthy for us. So I cook and roast everything with coconut oil. But in terms of a beauty treatment, oh, it's a powerhouse. So you can use it as a cleanser. So you just literally rub it into the face and it will help lift away all your makeup, which is amazing. Then you can remove it, um, your makeup with a flannel, cotton wool, um, whatever you use, your sort of cotton pads, reusable cotton pads that you wash. I've got some of those, great for the environment. So amazing for that. You can also moisturize with it. If you've got any scars, if you've got any burns, if you've got really dry skin, it's a great moisturizer. Uh, just absolutely amazing for that. Really great at getting off mascara. So if you ever run out of your um, eye makeup remover, this is great. If you just rub it into your eyelashes with the mascara, it'll actually melt um, the uh, mascara off. It's just brilliant. Use it as a lip balm. I use it as an all over body moisturizer. I absolutely swear by it. I use a little bit on my hands sometimes. I get very frizzy hair. And if I just wanna smooth it down, you only wanna use a tiny bit, just a tiny, tiny little bit of coconut oil and palms of your hand and just run it over. And then it's like, a leave-in um, conditioner, 
uh, leave-in conditioner for your hair, but it also just acts like, you know, like a frizzies kind of thing, just to help tame those sort of flyaway hairs. And then when I have time, I actually, if I know I'm gonna wash um, and shower, wash my hair in the morning, say, every now and again, I'll actually sleep with coconut oil in my hair. Um, if not, I'll do the same with olive oil, which is another great beauty product to have in your kitchen. Both of these are amazing intensive conditioners for your hair. Again, or you can wrap your hair in a warm towel, leave it in for about 10 minutes, but with the coconut oil, you do have to really shampoo it out, the same with the olive oil. It's quite a little bit harder to get out of your hair, so give it a couple of shampoos, then put a little bit of conditioner if you just need it to get rid of the, um, the knots if you've been shampooing it out of your hair, but really amazing for that. So if I had to go to a desert island and they said you're allowed like one product or one beauty product, I would take coconut oil. Sometimes when I'm traveling and I don't actually have much space in my case, I just use this for everything. I use it to moisturize, I use it for body moisturizer, for lip balm, to take off my makeup, cleanser, etc., etc. I just use it for everything. So that is my top tip. Um, another top tip is um, green tea that we haven't talked about. Um, when I first tried green tea, it used to make me gag. Seriously, my friend was like, oh, it's so comforting. And I don't, I don't, I don't like milk. So I hate normal tea and coffee. I'm a bit of a weirdo. And my friend said, oh, you really need to start uh, drinking tea, green tea. It's, it's really great for your metabolism. It's got these benefits. And when I first tried it, I honestly used to sip it and gag. That's how much I hated the taste of green tea. But I truly believe that if you persevere, you can change your taste buds. So I just keep sipping it, make myself, you know, drinks every now and again until I got used to the taste. And now, honestly, I am addicted to green tea. And it's got so many benefits. Um, I could do a whole live just on the benefits of green tea, but it's really important, it's anti-inflammatory. It's an antioxidant, so it helps um, reduce skin redness. It helps with swelling, helps to minimize sun damage as well. So. A green tea is just such a great one. But if you try and hate it initially like I do, I promise you, just persevere with it because um, you will, you can change your taste buds, so taste buds and you can get used to things. Um, so another little tip for under eye, like I absolutely love the Instant Effects um, Eye Lift Serum. This is one of our most popular products. The stats on this, let me just read you. So this reduces puffiness and firms around the eye on average of 82% in an hour, which is just absolutely incredible. It brightens dark circles, it works on um, discoloration. Um, it really contains like really powerful ingredients and you just need to look at the before and afters. So I absolutely swear by this, but if, I'm, if I've been a bit poorly or tired or I haven't slept and I need a, a super quick fix for puffiness, I just keep a little um, teaspoon in my fridge and you just hold it underneath your eyes, especially if you wake up in the morning when you've had a really bad night, maybe you, you haven't, you've got children in the house and you haven't slept, you just hold it under the eye oh, and it's amazing, it's so cooling and it really helps with puffiness, it's just so delightful. So a simple little trick, as I say, I absolutely love um, the instant effect eye, really important to use something specific for around the eye because it's so delicate. The skin around the eye is actually as thin as an eggshell, so we do need to use a product that is specific for that area so as not to overload. Um, but yeah, a quick fix, um, as it's all about the beauty kitchen tonight, um, one of my final tips would be just to use this little spoon just to keep it in the fridge and then when it comes out, you can just place it under the eyes and it's that instant quick little trick and fix for puffiness when you need something to work really quickly. Hi Anna, thanks so much for joining. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's been a really lovely uh, Instagram today. Uh, something a little bit different, but I, I'm really passionate about amazing products. I absolutely love Instant Effects. Um, they are the, the range that I use. I've been in the industry for over 15 years and for me, uh, they have had the most impacts on my skin and I just absolutely love their products. Um, check out their lip plumping treatment, 3D lip plump. But tonight it's just been all about the other things that I do and little tips I want to pass on. So 
all these little little um, ingredients and top tips that you can include these nuts, seeds, maybe you can eat more avocados, maybe you wanna start growing your own broccoli seeds and sprouts and sprinkle them in the food, having your strawberries, um, drinking your green tea, using the coconut oil, all these little tips that we can potentially build up over time um, into our regimes, really gonna nourish our bodies from the inside out, loads of benefits, but the added benefits that they're proven to help with skin, with hair and nails. So looking great, feeling great, and just using everything from our kitchen that hopefully we've either got in our kitchen already, or maybe there might be a few little things that you've seen tonight that you think, oh, well, I, I could do with some more antioxidants. Why don't I incorporate some berries into my porridge or just adding it in, in the, um, into your yogurts, um, making small little steps and build them up and can make a really big difference. Um, but thank you so much for everybody that's joined. And if you're not watching this live, um, I hope you've enjoyed it. Please do leave us a comment, get in touch, make sure that you're, um, you're following and sharing. We would really, really appreciate that. If you've got any ideas as well for future lives, um, if you've got any questions, we love, love, love hearing from you. So please do get in touch. I'll be back very soon um, with another live. Look forward to hearing from you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Have a lovely rest of your evening and um, I'll see you soon. Bye.